Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsfory.com. Today the topic of our discussion is a very short video on the difference between homologous and analogous structures, a core concept in evolution. Let's start with an example. Homologous organs. An example is pentadactyl limbs in mammals. Penta means five, tactyl means digits. Let us see the structure. So this is the skeletal structure. You can see five digits here in bats. The structure is same. In whales also the structure is same. Homologous organs are organs which are having same structure but with different function. They are also similar in origin but with different function in different organisms. So in humans this is our hands are used for grasping, holding Whereas in bat, it is for flying, whereas in the case of whales, it is for swimming. So, homologous organs are organs which are in, which are having same structure, same origin, but different function in different groups of organisms. Often these organisms are related groups, this structure often inherited from a common ancestor. The reason is divergent evolution, and we'll be discussing that in the next slide. Whereas in the case of analogous organs, here the example is wings of insects, birds and bat. So there is no structural similarity between these three groups. The wings doesn't have any structural similarity, but they are having a same function or different structures in skeletal structure and also in origin, but performing a common function a similar function in different organism is referred as analogous organs often developed in unrelated animals maybe due to the same environmental condition or ecological niche the reason is convergent evolution in short homologous organs are organs that are having same in structure and origin but different function in different organisms whereas analogous structures are organs with different structure and origin but carrying out same function in different organisms. Now moving into the second topic that is divergent and convergent evolution. Divergent evolution it's a process so let's take this example. So all these humans, bat and whales all are mammals. So having a common ancestry related groups. These organisms diverge or evolve and accumulate differences often forming new species the process is called as divergent evolution as the organism the same structure has diversified or evolved to perform different functions under different environmental conditions leading to the formation of new species whereas in the case of convergent evolution these are all insect, bird and bat, all are unrelated groups. They independently evolve similar function, that is flying. In the, here it is flying. They are having different structure and origin, but independently evolve a similar trait that is flying to adapt to a similar condition, similar environment or similar ecological niche. That is called as convergent evolution. So different groups that evolve, that converge in function, that is flying, to adapt to a same environment. That is called as convergent evolution. And that's it. You are with biologyexamstory.com. Thank you so much for your support.